Howdy cop and welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm Chris Housen filling in for JP Mustanza. Today is Monday, December the 10th and here's the news that you need to know. Thailand's roads are once again the deadliest in Southeast Asia and among the worst in the world for vehicle accidents and fatalities. That's according to a World Health Organization study. The report showed the death rate per 100,000 population in Thailand was 32.7 far ahead of Vietnam, which came in second at 26.7. Singapore was the safest by far at 2.6. The figure for Thailand was up marginally from the 32.6 in the last WHO survey three years ago, when the country had the second highest road fatality rate in the world, behind only Libya. Motorcyclists and their passengers accounted for 74% of all road deaths in Thailand, against just 6% for passengers in cars and light vehicles. According to figures gathered from the Disease Control Department, while pedestrians and cyclists each accounted for 8% of the deaths. The report said the high toll was a consequence of weak law enforcement in Thailand against drunk driving, helmet wearing for motorcyclists and riders, and seatbelt usage. As Thailand gears up for next year's general election, the regime has announced it will lift the ban on political activities beginning tomorrow when the Act on Election of MPs takes effect. Parties may then resume the work necessary to prepare for the general election poll date, which has been officially confirmed for February 24th of 2019. Candidacy applications will be open between January 14th and 18th of next year, and parties will also have to submit their list of up to three Prime Minister candidates to the EC during this period. The EC will then announce the list of candidates contesting the constituency system and party list candidates on January 25th. Overseas voting will be held between February 4th and 16th, and advanced voting will take place on February 17th. Sit tight, Phuket Extra will be right back. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Phuket rescue team divers are scouring the Bang Niao Dum Reservoir for a man who failed to come home over the weekend after he went fishing at the lake. The search began after the man's wife filed a police report and a search team arrived at the reservoir to find his motorbike, shoes and fishing gear. Divers are now assisting police in the search. A female Chinese university student has been found dead in her dormitory in the northeastern province of Gonkan yesterday morning. The body of the 23-year-old student was found in the bathroom of her dorm room on the campus of Gonkan University. Examination by forensic doctors have revealed no traces of a struggle and the room had not been ransacked in a robbery. No weapons were found, only some packages of cosmetic medicine were recovered. Police are still looking to establish the cause of death in this case. And police have seized assets worth 28 million baht from a Chiang Mai woman known locally as an anti-drug campaigner after finding an estimated 200 million baht worth of methamphetamine in her van. The 34-year-old woman was arrested after a search of her van at a checkpoint found nine sacks containing 1.6 million speed pills, 10 kilograms of crystal meth and a gun. The woman had previously launched an anti-drug campaign project in her hometown and had also spent some money to help cover the medical costs of sick children in Nan province. The seized assets include two houses, a condo unit, two indoor football fields and various plots of land. And that's it for Phuket Extra today. If you're watching us on YouTube or thephuketnews.com, you can check out all of these stories on the links below. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching and goodbye. JP Mustanza will be back tomorrow.